What's up everybody, this is Tilla. Um, I have something to share with you guys and I feel like if I don't share it with you guys, I might just explode. Um, so there's this new movie coming out uh, starring Nicolas Cage, it's called Left Behind. It's based on the Left Behind series, the novels I think, or either that or the Thief in the Night or something like that. Um, it's about the pre-tribulation rapture um, where people start disappearing and and you know people and and their clothes get left behind and um things like that and so there have been a lot of really interesting debates about this uh belief and people seem to strongly believe in this theory and there have been also others who preach a different type of rapture and so um I, this is i think this is really important for us to know and you know so that we are not deceived First of all, let's erase everything we think we know about the tribulation and the rapture and let's build a conclusion using the Bible. Let's build a conclusion from a Bible standpoint. What is the rapture? Well, the word rapture means to be caught up and carried away. Now, the word rapture is not in the Bible, but the concept is in the Bible. Now, some people say that the rapture and the second coming of Christ are two different events. Um, but the main passage for this theory is in 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 16 and 17, where the Bible says that the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So in this one event, we have the Lord himself descending from heaven with a shout. That's the second coming, right? And then we have the dead in Christ resurrecting, because they will rise first. And then we which are alive and remain will be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. That's the rapture. So in this one event, we have the second coming and the rapture at the same time. The same event. So what is the rapture? To be caught up and carried away. How is the rapture? Jesus descends, which is the second coming, and then the dead in Christ will rise first, and we which are alive and remain will be caught up. When is the rapture? In Matthew 24, verse 21, Jesus himself says that there will be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world. And in verse 29, Jesus says that immediately after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened, the moon won't give its light, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Are you sure, Matthew? Are you sure this is what Jesus said? Let's go to Mark 13. Verse 24 says, But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Mark says the same thing. After the tribulation, what happens? Christ himself will appear in the clouds descending from heaven. And what happens when Jesus descends from heaven? What did 1 Thessalonians 4 say? That the dead will rise first and we which are alive and remain will be caught up with them in the air. And so after the tribulation will be the second coming of Jesus Christ in which the rapture takes place. Now who is the rapture for? Mark 13 says that when Jesus returns, he will send his angels to gather together his elect from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now Christians will say that the elect only means the Jews, but the word elect is in the King James Bible 20 times and every single time the word elect is used, it's talking about people who are saved, people who are believers, except for the three times that the word elect refers to Jesus himself and the one time that the word elect refers to 
elected angels. The rapture is for all believers. In fact, in Mark 13, Jesus himself says, referring to the tribulation and the rapture, What I say unto you, I say unto all. Watch. Now these are the words of Jesus himself. Will you believe him? Now some Christians again will say that the tribulation and the wrath of God are the same thing. Therefore, we as believers will be saved from this wrath, says Romans 5 verse 9. But is the tribulation and the wrath of God the same thing? What does the Bible say the tribulation is? In Matthew 13 verse 21, Jesus himself says that tribulation or persecution will arise because of our belief of the word. So tribulation is persecution. Tribulation is the persecution of believers. Believers of what? Believers of the word. The word tribulation is in the Bible 22 times and 20 of those passages talk about the believers going through tribulation. And in the other two passages, it had nothing to do with the end times. So what does the Bible say um, the wrath of God is in the end times? Revelation 15 says that the wrath of God in the end times is manifested through seven plagues. So Romans verse 5, 9 says that the believers will be saved from his wrath. But God's wrath and the tribulation, two different things. God's wrath, seven last plagues. Tribulation, persecution. Two different things. How do we know? In Revelation 6, when the sixth seal is opened, the sun and the moon were darkened, and the kings of the earth and mighty men hid themselves in the mountains, asking the rocks to fall on them, because the wrath of God is come. So if Matthew 24 says that the sun and the moon are darkened after the tribulation, and Revelation 6 says that the wrath of God comes when the sun and moon are darkened, how is the tribulation and the wrath of God the same thing? I mean, who comes up with this stuff? This is deception from the devil himself. The devil is trying to delay your preparation for a coming crisis because if you are not prepared for a persecution, you will deny Jesus. And I'll show you how in a little bit. Now Jesus says there will be a tribulation before the second coming and then after the tribulation, the sun and moon are darkened, the seven last plagues are poured, and then Jesus returns to rapture his people. Do you believe his words? These are all from the words of Jesus himself. Now, one of the disciples of Jesus didn't believe in his words. In Matthew 16 and Mark 8, Jesus said that he will be persecuted. He will suffer and he will be killed. And do you remember what Peter said? Peter didn't believe it. He said, no, Lord, that will not happen to you. And do you know what Jesus said? He said, get thee behind me, Satan. In John 15, Jesus said that no servant is greater than his master. And so if they persecute me, they will persecute you. And Peter did not want to believe this. But when Jesus was finally persecuted, a little, a servant girl noticed Peter standing there and said, Hey, aren't you one of his followers? And what did Peter do? Peter denied Jesus because he was scared of the persecution. He wasn't prepared for the persecution because he didn't want to believe in the words of Jesus. Because Peter didn't believe in the words of Jesus that Jesus will be persecuted, he wasn't ready for a persecution. And when persecution came to him, he denied Jesus. He wasn't ready for it. Jesus in Matthew 24 and Mark 13 warns us of a coming persecution, of a coming tribulation. Will you believe him? Are you ready for a persecution? Are you getting ready for a tribulation when tribulation does come to you? If tribulation does come to you, those who believe 
in a pre-tribulation rapture, that's exactly what the devil wants you to believe. He doesn't want you to be ready for a persecution because if you are not ready for a persecution, you will deny Jesus. And what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say? He said, if you deny me in front of men, I will deny you in front of my Father. If you deny me in front of men, I will deny you in front of my Father. In Matthew 16, verse 24, Jesus says, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me.